Raising your own chickens can make you feel like a homesteader no matter where you live. And it gives you a little bit of control over your family's food supply. Welcome to the Southern Suburban Chicken Course. I'm Holly. I've been raising backyard hens for over eight years, and it has been such a wonderful experience, I wanted to share it with you. Let's get started. Our first segment is all about the coop. <laughs> they range from color and size and everything in between, but we're gonna focus on what the hens need, the basics, right? The first thing we wanna know is what's the number one thing that we need to do for our chickens? That would be safety. We wanna make sure that our coop is safe for predators and for inclement weather. Even though we don't have snow, we have a lot of rainstorms, we have hurricanes, and we have tornadoes. So we wanna make sure that our coop can hold up to the weather. Also, here in the south, wood tends to rot. We have a lot of that going on. So we wanna make sure that we're inspecting our coop at least on a yearly basis for any repairs that it might need. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the outside of our coop and show you some things that we did to secure our hens from predators. So this is our outside run. This is what is underneath their coop. So it's the same size as their coop. It gives them a place to get out of the weather, to dust bathe because it stays dry under there, and a nice place to look out and see what's happening. So this is the other side underneath the front door of their run. Tallulah's coming to see you. And then here is the stairs that come out of their door that they can get to the run. Now this is the outdoor piece. This is how we close off the run. So Curtis has built a hole in the side of the coop and reinforced it so that we can close it off at night and keep them safe. If a storm is coming, we can keep them inside the coop. So this is their protection. So this is how we're keeping them uh, free of predators in the evening. Uh, this is all closed off with the hardware cloth. So they are completely enclosed in this space. So when we talk about spacing needed for an outside run, what I've read, the rule of thumb is 10 square feet per bird. Now to me, that seems like an awful lot, but you saw our run, it's about eight feet by four feet. We had up to seven birds here at one time for a very long period of time, and they were all very happy. However, that outside run measurement doesn't include the underneath run. So they actually did have quite a bit more space than just that outside run where they could get sunshine. So think about your coop measurements for the outside, the space they need on the floor, the interior, and their run. This is the side of the coop that I see when I look out my back door. It has the high pitch, our welcome sign, and a door where I can check on the chickens. Now let's go take a look at this door. You'll notice it does have a latch that I can keep latched. Number one, safety. I can open the doors that are original to the playhouse and peek inside. Now this right here is hardware cloth that's stapled good all the way around. We use hardware cloth because of the finer squares than chicken wire. It's a little heavy duty so that predators can't get their paws in at the chickens. This is a great way for me to do a quick check to see if they have water, food, 
and if there is an egg in the nest. So this is underneath. So there was a platform that we built the coop up about three feet high so that the chickens can actually be underneath the coop. They like this area because it stays very dry. They're safe under here. They can see what's happening and we can see them too. When we go on the side, which faces the road, this is our egg door. This was the original window on the playhouse. Now again, you'll notice that we have a latch that we can open that you have to pull back and up so that predators can't get in and the window parts have the hardware cloth. Now, this end doesn't have hardware cloth because I have to be able to get in to check the nest boxes. But this is easy for me because I don't have to bend down to get the eggs and look inside. So the height is my height. It's at least four feet off the ground and I can check the eggs without bending down. Then when I come to the other side, this is what faces one of my neighbors. The cute pitched roof and a door. Again, we have a latch on the door and we have hardware cloth on the openings of the original cedar door. From this angle, I can open it up and get inside the coop very easily to get to their food, to get to their water, and check nest boxes. I can also clean from this angle. I can get a broom in here or hose it out if I need to. I can get to one of the perches if it needs to be cleaned off, and I can see to the other side. Hey, Tallulah. How are you, girl? Hey, girl. Anybody lay an egg? Woo -wee. Woo, thank you. This is their run. It's a little bit difficult to see in the video, but the top part of the run is chicken wire, and the roof is chicken wire. We have a lot of moss <laughs> It's always falling on the top. But then you'll note that two feet up, at least, we've also reinforced it with hardware cloth. So we have two layers. We have chicken wire all the way. Then we have hardwire cloth going up at least two feet all the way around. Now this is the juncture where the chickens go from the coop to the run. My husband has cut out a reinforced opening on the side of the playhouse and we built stairs for the chickens to come down into their run. We have a door and you could do something fancy here. You could have an electronic door. You could make it out of something cute. We've actually just taken one of our signs from our business <laughs> and uh, it's a metal sign and I'll show you the slot on the other side. So we can close it up at night if we want to. If a storm or a hurricane is coming, we can close them up so they're secure inside the coop. So that door is important to keep them out of the run or access from any animals into the coop when we are asleep at night or away. All right, here's where the shabby sheet comes into play. This is the front of our coop, our main door, and this door faces the lake. So no one sees this door but us coming to check on the chickens. Now the front of the playhouse, this was actually a porch. And so you'll note that my husband took, it was a porch, from here to here, it was open. So he took extra boards from the playhouse that we dismantled the flooring and things and used it to extend with the roof line that we had, adding extra pieces of board. And then he built the front and he built the door with the cutout for me. 
Now, after eight years, it is degrading much faster than the cypress wood itself. But I want to redesign this front so that it has more of a rain drip lip for me because the pitch now is not really enough from water gathering on top. So that's something I would change. Now, again, we have hardware cloth here, but I can take a quick peek in. It's at my height. I don't have to bend down. I can check everything. And we have a secure lock here for me to get in and out. Here again is the access door from the coop to the run. And we have hardware cloth all on the outside. We have one opening to be able to slide this back and forth to let the chickens in and out. It'll slide and then we have a nail here to hold it in place so that nothing can come like a raccoon and try to inch its way out. It locks kind of in place and so we have to pull a little bit to open it up to let the chickens in and out. So having a way to close them off inside the coop is important. Here's another look at our run. Now our run is about three and a half, four feet tall. And we do have an access door on the end. After eight years, it's not accessible anymore, <laughs> but it was many years ago. This is how the children would get in and we could clean in here. We could get to the smaller chickens. We could clean in here. Uh, if they laid an egg out in here, we could get in there and do that. And as I get older, I'm looking at doing something a little different that's taller that I'm able to get into. Maybe not the entire run, but a portion of it that I could get into easier. So this is about an eight to 10 foot long run and it's probably about four to five feet wide so we have an eight by four run our original chickens we had seven so for many years we had seven in this size of coop 